It's me, Ari Dossett. When you cast out an evil spirit, a lot of you, likely though to the influence of Hollywood, I said likely, if you had proper knowledge, it doesn't count for you. But many of you, when you think about casting out an evil spirit, what you think about is the Hollywood scenes you've seen of a Catholic priest being there, they're screaming at the demon in Latin phrases, come out in Christ Jesus' name, and the demon is screaming, making sound, they don't want to leave, and it's a whole drama happening. Or maybe you watched some videos of the deceased T.B. Joshua, when he was still alive, had this big church in Western Africa where there were spectacles happening. Well, let me just tell you one thing. In real life, casting out a demon is quite different. First thing first, evil spirits don't just jump into people. No, that's a hoax. Evil spirits first seek to get a hold on someone energetically through someone's wrong way of thinking or addictions or unhealthy social ties. So demons most of the time move through social relationships. So if there's a demon operating against you, it doesn't mean you're demon possessed. It's just the demons using a social, social situation to have a hold on you. So sometimes just breaking or, or lowering contact with certain people is enough to cast out an evil spirit. Let's say you have um, a colleague at work that you're, you, you, you have good contact with. What is colleague has a spirit of, um, how to say, divination with him. So this colleague would figure out things about everyone else randomly. So people think he has a special gift, but it's really a spirit of divination. Now that spirit of divination can also expose things about you that you want to keep hidden. Let's say you just start your new business, but you don't want everyone to know about it yet because you know for sure a lot of people aren't wishing you well with your new business, so you don't want people to know about it. That spirit of divination can use a colleague of yours to expose you. The colleague may suddenly think, hmm, did you start a new business, Rashid? Because I feel like your attitude has changed. And before you know, people think Rashid's own business. Now, the colleague has no proof you started your own business, but the demon through him spoke it out. So now people are going to look into you and think, oh, Rashid indeed has a new business. And now you have retaliation against your business. So in this case, the moment you feel that there's a spirit of divination operating against you, check where it comes from. If it's through a social tie, you don't have to break the social tie immediately or lower contact with the individual. But what if the demon is more deeply rooted? What you do then is that you check where the open door is. Maybe it is in a wrong way of thinking you have. Maybe you think that as an adult it's all on you, how you turn out in life. Well, facts show that's not the case. So your wrong way of thinking enables not only others to take advantage of you, but also enables demons to use those same people to keep you in trouble. So check your own way of thinking too. Or maybe the community is so upset that they demand a victim to relieve themselves upon. In this case, it is not anything related to you. In this case, it's something wrong with the community. And because there's something wrong with the community, you have to realize that the only way for you to get rid of the demon is to get, get away from those people. Take a holiday, look for another job, or where if you can't move, command confusion and scatter the, the public in Christ Jesus' mighty name. Those scenes in the movies where demons are inside people's bodies and they're fighting uh, to stay in, that's quite rare. Let me tell you, most of you have demons operating against you right now. They're operating through either your best friend, or through your mom or dad, or through your employee at work, or through, I you know, someone you, you sometimes talk to on the internet. So stop looking for bodily manifestations of demons to, to notice that possession. You have demonic oppression, which is common in demonic possession. Possession, most of it happens on a social level. When a demon has a hold on an unbeliever, and now they're using that unbeliever against the believer. The bodily infestation does happen, but it's not as common as you think. So 
cast evil spirits out, but realize it's not like you see in the movies. All right? So, are there demons occupying your environment that you need to kick out? Now I know what to do. Be at peace.